Hello, I'm Spencer with 425 Consulting, and in this video we are going to pick up from the last video where we set up our analysis views. Now we're going to move forward into what to do with that. Now that we've set up our analysis view, how do we make use of this? What's the best way to look at the data that this is creating? Well, we have a couple of options. The first option I want to show you is actually right on the analysis view itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out and from here we can select analysis by dimension. When we select this, a new card is going to open up and now we can put in our information as desired. So in this case, I'm going to put in for the entire year of 2024. And now what I can do is you can see here, I can apply specific filters. Let's say I wanted to do a specific area or if I wanted to apply it to a specific department. I could set those filters. Another option is that when I generate this matrix, I can choose what my lines and columns are. So to me, I find this very valuable. I can set, let's say, my department as my columns. And from here, with just this little bit of information, when I hit show matrix, that would then give me a matrix breakdown of that information. Now in this case, you can see I've got nothing here, but the reason for that is because of my date. It reset when I changed my show as columns. So I'm gonna put my date back in, hit show matrix, and now you can see I have my total amounts. But in this case, because the data is not tagged with these dimensions, it's not breaking it out by my administration, my production, and my sales. However, in the future, as you start adding your dimensions to all of your entries, you can break this down and be able to see and consume this information broken down by your departments or whatever dimension you set it to. Another nice piece here is that I can simply export this to Excel if I want to be able to utilize this data in another way or compare it with other data sets. I also can expand this view so I can look in here, but one of the nice things is if I click on any of these amounts, it then gives me the ability to drill down into this data to figure out what is making all of this up. And remember, I've set this to be as a monthly breakdown, which is why you're seeing four different groupings here. So when I drill down even further, now I can see all my entries. And in this case, these ent entries are all a part of the 2024 January entries. So the all those are grouped together. And now I can go in, I can consume, I can get the information about these entries this way I can look at this in a grouped manner and see all of this is what happened in that one month, right? So this gives us the ability to really define how we want to look at our data. Had I set my grouping to a year, all of this would enter, you would just see a single line to get this information. The other way to consume this data is one that I prefer which is we can actually view this data as applied to our financial reports. So in order to do this, we're gonna simply exit out of here. We're going to do a search for our financial reports. And when we come into here, all we need to do now is simply select the report that we wanna apply it to. So in this case, I'm gonna apply it to our income statement. And I'm going to select the analysis view that we have just created, which is these dimension filters. I'm gonna apply it to both the row and columns. And once I've done this, what I can do is select view financial report. And when I come into here, what's gonna happen now is this may look exactly like your financial reports did previously. However, the distinction we now have is that you can see my area filter, my department filter, and my sales campaign filter, those three dimensions that I applied to this, now show up. So I now have the ability to come in and select my various dimensions in order to filter on my data. I still have the ability to select my drill downs, and from here, I can get back into that analysis view. So you can see I have it grouping again. 
Now I can see my various groupings. I can go in, I can see all of my data. This gives the ability to apply any dimensions that you want to your analysis views or correction to your financial reports. Without setting up a analysis view to apply, you would not be able to get your non-global dimensions applied to your financial reports. This concludes our video on analysis views. If you have any further questions or just need some help, please feel free to reach out to us at 425 Consulting. We'd love to help you out and answer any questions you might have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.